when you have a student using the keyword, which hopefully all of our students will be in the future, something important to think about is the keyboard page. And so in TD Snap, the keyboard defaults to an ABC layout. We often feel like this is most useful because our students do know their ABCs or we focus on learning their ABCs. However, if we think about that literacy and long-term piece, it can be really important to have the QWERTY keyboard set up. If you think about as they're using an iPad for academic work or a Chromebook for academic work, their keyboard is going to be set up as a QWERTY keyboard on those devices. So I want to show you how to change the TD Snap keyboard. So you're again going to click the edit button, the pencil with the gear, and this time you are going to click page set. This is where you make all of the changes around what pages are on the device, what the default is, what the grid size is, all of those things. So you can see just on this first page, there is the keyboard page button. You're going to touch that and you're going to search for keyboard. Now, you're going to see a whole lot of XSIT keyboards. These are not the ones we want to use. These typically are used on um, a dedicated device rather than an iPad. We are going to scroll down and we are going to find keyboard main QWERTY. And that is the keyboard that we want. I'm going to click done. You're going to see there aren't any changes. However, if I go back to core words and then come back to keyboard, you can see that it has changed to QWERTY. So it's going to match what is on the keyboard for all of the academic work, going to allow your student to learn through some of that motor planning um, of where letters are on the keyboard.